Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, again we are going to discuss about the new concept that are being introduced in ES6. We have already uh, in, uh, discussed the new items and the new features that are being introduced in ESCX in our past videos. So we have discussed about let, where, keywords, then we have discovered a constant, we have template string, we have uh, spread operators and then default parameters and then in this case Again, we are going to discuss about string methods. Now, there are some new methods that are being added in string in new ES6. ES6. So, we will be discussing what all methods are there, how we can manipulate strings uh, using the new ES6 string method that I introduced. So, friends, let us start the video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe button so that you get important updates whenever a new video is uploaded on the channel. So we will be again in all our ESCX, ES6 tutorial. Uh, we have discussed using execution of the code. So in this video also we will be uh, writing some code and we will be checking what is the output of this. So friends we are talking about uh, strings. So normally if you want to uh, declare a string. So this is a simple string. Now, if I say console.log, so we will be using the first method that is being you, uh, introduced in ESCX is repeat, fname.repeat and five, or four. So I am saying that this is a string and please repeat for four times. Go and run, just save it and run it. So run without debugging. So you can see it is being repeated four times. So it's very easy if you want to repeat something. So we have a repeat function. Next, if you want to check. So we have starts. Starts with. We are using camel casing. So starts with if I'm saying. Uh, within the parameter part, we'll be saying will be providing so this is a string and we want to check if it starts with uh, the first one so we'll just check run without debugging and we are getting true because it starts with this so again we have repeat we have starts with and we have again ends with so suppose i want to check if it ends with this particular name so i will go run run without debugging and you can see false because it is it doesn't runs with uh, ends with uh, this particular name so suppose I will put this one just a minute so now run it so you will get the value true so these are the simple values through which you can check uh, or you can have the manipulation on the string with using these functions then we have includes so so includes means if you want to it's similar to search function so suppose you want to search anything you can just use includes function so again yes this particular string includes this you can write anything this is my new sentence and suppose i want to check if it includes new so again it's a search feature so if you want to search a particular uh, a particular word in a sentence so you can just use this includes go to run and run without debugging so again you will getting true and if it is not inside this then you will be getting false so suppose i want to write and then if you if you execute this so you will be getting false because this particular uh, word is not uh, in this particular sentence so friends this is all about how you can manage strings so we have starts with we have includes we have ends with and the most important is repeat so uh, if you want to repeat a particular thing many times, you can use this. So if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. And thank you for watching this video.